pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. This is your president speaking. And I approve this message. Vegas Raiders. Just win, baby. We are the Vegas Raiders. Did I enjoy here? Happy St. Patty's Day. What a weird St. Patrick's Day. This has got to be the weirdest one in history. So, here's the deal. Um, they canceled the NFL draft here in Las Vegas. That's really unfortunate. We're really bummed about that. We were really looking forward to that. And um, all of the MGM properties are closed, which is like Bellagio, Luxor, Mandalay Bay, Aria, um, a mirage, a, you know, a ton of them. It's about 11 or 12 properties on the strip. But here's what's going on, you guys. So everyone is thinking, oh my God, they're closing all this stuff, so that must mean this virus is just super horrible. But that's not why people are closing here in Vegas. It has really nothing to do with the virus in the sense of the health of the virus. What it has to do with is once they canceled the NBA and then the college basketball and all sports, Vegas can't survive without, for one thing, people. Everyone stopped coming. But then also bet sports betting. They stopped the sports betting. So MGM is one of the uh, property, not just M see MGM is all of those, it's m Light. So when I say MGM, I mean MGM Park, uh, Bellagio, all those that are, you know, it's, it's about 11 or 12 um, for people that are confused, including MGM. And Blackstone just recently purchased several of those properties. So what happened is they've spent a lot of money recently. They're investors with the stadium, everything. They did the T-Mobile arena. They remodeled. They did the parking. So when everyone stopped coming because of this virus, they said we cannot stay open because they literally, I think they uh, spent around, I think it's about a million dollars a day or something like that just to stay open. I don't really know the numbers, but it's a really high number. And when people are not coming in, that number, they're still spending that and they're not bringing in the money. So it, they just drain their funds within no time. So they closed. But here's the deal. Caesars is still open. Caesars, which is about half of the other properties on the strip. Most of the properties are either Caesars or MGM, which is Caesars Rewards or M Life. So they are staying open. So what that tells me is it has nothing to do with the virus. It has all to do with money, which everyone knows. But here's the thing. So the more that these places close, the more people believe that the virus is so awful, when really it's just a flu virus. And the people that are dying are elderly or people with immune, immune deficiencies or you know, already health problems. People that are healthy are surviving. So we're stopping the whole world for this thing. And what's happening is people get hysteric because they go, oh my gosh, uh, the casinos are closing. That must mean it, we can't be around people. So it's like, no, they're closing because they cancel sports. That's the only reason why they're closing and they cancel the flights and stuff. I mean, so what happened is people are not coming to Vegas. It doesn't have to do with that. They're worried about health. They're going to say it has to do with the virus and that it has to do with the concern for safety and health, but it doesn't. And it's concerned for the fact that they were draining their funds in a second. I mean, they would be, they'd be bankrupted in a second with the, the amount of like, it was going to be one of the busiest months in the whole year. And then it went to the slowest month probably ever. So, uh, but the good news is Caesars is still going and they have their restaurants open, at least some of them, I don't know if they're all open, but some of the restaurants, they have, um, all of their properties are open. You can still, uh, people are moving from MGM properties to Caesars properties as we speak. Like they had an MGM reservation, MGM had to, and I mean M Life. They were like, I, I just spoke with a guy yesterday. He was staying at Bellagio. I went to Bellagio. We went yesterday. I saw Colin at Bellagio, and he has to check out. He had to check out this morning. They refunded him money. Can you imagine this? They're refunding people money. 
That's how bad it is that they have to give back money because it, it's cheaper for them to refund people than to stay open. So they're refunding and he's moving over to Caesars. So you can stay at Planet Hollywood, you can stay at Paris, you can stay at Caesars. All those are probably, you know, all the ones that are Caesars Rewards, which is, um, you know, my brain goes, I get a brain fart when I come on here, but it's about half of the other properties. And also Stratosphere is staying open and all of the Boyd casinos and pretty much all of downtown, Fremont Street. Um, and the stations as of now are staying open. So what that means, you guys, is you can still come to Vegas. And here's the thing. I'm still working. I mean, uh, people go, oh, who would, who would come to Vegas and hire a girl during, this, during these times? Uh, people that are smart because they're like, it's cheap right now to be in Vegas, and they aren't really fearing that they're going to die. And if they do die, they're people that don't fear death. It's insane because I guess there's no other girls, too, because what happens is all the scammers left. So what happens is all of the people that take advantage of Vegas left. So that's what's happening is now the people that love Vegas remain. That's what he was saying. No, 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 keep talking. But what I'm saying is what happened is all the people that actually love Vegas, that are hard workers that want to be here will stay, and all the people that came here just to get rich quick will leave, including Uber drivers, you know, um, everyone that came here, um, you know, anyone that's... Uh, Bob, a cocktail or bartenders, all the ones that just thought they'd come here for a summer break or the March Madness even and just go right back to LA or wherever they're from. People do that a lot on the weekends. Well, that's going to stop for at least for a minute. So that can be actually good for Vegas because those people tend to just take, take, take from the city and not ever contribute. And so it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay for some of the locals. It's going to be tough for a lot of locals, but it's just going to be tough. Like you just like, we're just bunk bunkering down. We're not spending any money except for on uh, food and weed. And we need weed because that is our medicine. People say, oh, why are you buying on weed? That's actually medicine to us. So we only use weed for medicine. We don't buy any other medicine. That that is our medicine and it if we don't have it, it we don't do it <laughs> so we do our uh, food and weed and then um, and then just you know the rent and stuff but other than that we have not bought any extra stuff um, just because we don't know how long this could last here in Vegas but we've been so fortunate that we've been busy so thank you Satan thank you universe and um, catch you guys later
to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm my jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day-o, and it's been like that since the day-o. On more time than a role or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get, get out, get down. Get down. Get Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out. Check it out.